Hey everyone, welcome to the 6th episode of Painkiller. I left this series for quite a while, sorry about that. Anyway, this is part of the Solar System collaboration along with Blank Space Dolls, Doll Mill, Engenterium, Kiros Workshop, OOA Kainara, Selene, The Dolly Geek, Palkidis World, and yours truly. So for this collaboration, each of us have to make a creature that represents a planet and we also have to incorporate designated gemstones into our projects. For the planet, I picked Uranus and for the gemstone, I got Amethyst. I don't know much about the other space so I just did the simple research. I looked up Uranus personality looking for inspiration and these keywords came up which are Eccentricity, Unpredictable Changes, Rebellion, and Reformation. Combining all these aspects together, I came up with this idea of an assassin type of character so he's just gonna be a regular humanoid and not something ethereal. Alright, let's get to it. For the base, I'll be using Alistair Wonderland from Ever After High. Per usual, we're going to prepare him by cutting off his hair. And then we remove the head after putting it in hot water. Now let's get rid of the stubble. Pull the stubble out from the neck hole. Now we can erase the factory paint with pure acetone. Preparation stage is done, let's put the head aside for now. I wanna get rid of the embossed underwear, I take out most part of it with an exacto knife. And then I send the whole body with a sanding sponge so paint will adhere better to the surface. I'm gonna marble the doll using these colors. I add a lot of water to each color and apply blobs of them to cover one body part at a time. After the first layer is dried, apply another. The drying time takes a while because you need to add a lot of water to make this work, but the process is really fun and effortless. Four layers of watery paint would be sufficient to get a nice coverage. Here's what mine looks like, now let's do the arms. Don't forget to bend the joint so you can cover all the surface. After the arms are done, do the same thing to the legs. Here's the body fully painted. Looks pretty awesome if you ask me. Uranus has the symbol so I paint them on each side of his chest using white acrylic paint. To protect the paint job, let's apply 3 to 4 layers of watered down matte varnish. The paint on the joints is of course already scrapped off. It would have been better if I dyed the doll first, but I didn't want to make an order just to buy one little pot of dye. So let's just move on, the body is dead and now we can start working on the head. Cover the body with some plastic bag. And then reattach the head. I apply a thin layer of hippoclay on his head to cover the holes making the surface solid and even. After the hippoclay is cured, I sand it so the transition will be seamless. I clean the dust with some wet wipes. 
and then I build up shapes out of epoclay on his head to make him appear more alien-like. I came up with something like this and then I sand and clean it. Now let's marble the head so it will match the body. Now let's do the face. This is my first face up without MSC. I am so not used to painting the face because I've always drawn them but let's give it a shot anyway. I start with the basic eye shapes. I tried to shade them with light gray paint, but in the end the shading isn't really feasible. Here I'm making the irises green to represent Uranus's color. Okay, I have a confession to make. I didn't paint the dull blue because I thought it was a nice color. When I was coloring the skin, I thought I was painting it the planet's color, which was supposed to be mint green. Only to realize I had been looking at a picture of Neptune, not Uranus. But I had two layers in already, so I kept going. There's no way I'm redoing the whole thing. Let's just say the blue represents the outer space or whatever. I'm adding more details to finish the eyes. Here I'm giving him triangular eyebrows, thinking about it again it would've looked a lot cooler if I sculpted the eyebrows, not painting them on, but oh well. This is what happens if you don't plan and I'm fine with it. The face up is done, he looks really cartoony, which is totally not my style. I don't think he looks bad, he just doesn't feel like my work. And then I give the whole head 3 layers of water down matte varnish. Let's remove the plastic bag to see the doll as a whole. He looks like an alien alright. The gemstones that I have to use is amethyst and here they are. I crushed the stone into smaller pieces to make them easier to work with. They look like tinted crystal meth. I glued the gemstones to his upper arms. And to the sides of his body as well. Moving on to the clothes, he's an assassin so he has to stay agile so I think a pair of leggings would be fitting. It's pretty simple, the leggings are made out of these two pieces, I already hemmed the leg holes and now we can sew the front seam together. Open them up and sew the waistband, if you're making skin tight clothes you have to use stretchy materials. After you're done with the waistband, fold it in half and sew the back seams. And then we can sew the inner legs. Trim the excess seam allowance and turn the leggings inside out. Here's what the leggings look like, I added a little detail and now we can sew sleeves for the bases of the bracers. Trim off the excess and put the sleeves on the doll. I use the cling wrap and masking tape method to make the bracer pattern. And then I cut out the pieces out of black vinyl. I punch holes so we can lace them later. Now we can glue the cutouts to the sleeves. Let's lace them up and the bracers are done.
I accidentally ruined this doll, so now I guess I have a male mannequin. I'm gonna make a mask for him out of heated craft foam. This is a design choice and completely unrelated to whatever's happening right now. Let's glue the pieces together to construct the mask. Then we paint it black. I apply a few layers of watered down gloss varnish for protection. Then I glue one pieces of yarn to the sides of the mask so it'll be wearable for the doll. Here's what the mask looks like, it's giving me Hannibal Lecter vibe. For accessory, I'm gonna paint this monster high belt green but I'm gonna use it as a necklace. And the shoes as well, they are Nathan Rod shoes. I painted the details purple to complement the amethyst and then I give them a dark wash to weather them. Then of course brush on several layers of watered down varnish. I want him to wield a pair of twin swords so I made the armatures out of popsicle sticks and toothpicks and I bulked them up with hippoclay. And then I sand and paint and varnish. Now that every part is done, we can call it a doll. So here's the finished doll, he looks alright, a little lackluster if I gotta be honest, but I'm fine with it cause he doesn't look bad. I feel like there's something missing about him, but I can't point out what. If you can tell me what it is, please comment down below. I name him Cyan because he's the mixture of green and blue. Do you like him or do you not like him? Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to watch all the other solar system doll videos. Like and subscribe if you want to, see you in the next one, bye!